as much as I also isolate it and I do my music and I write it, when it comes out, it, it, it becomes so much bigger. Yeah. And as I'm growing, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I see what I'm doing. And knowing why I'm here, understanding what I'm here to do with my music and which is healing, mm -hmm. that was the first win for me. When I was making power, I was like, oh, that light bulb, that, okay, I get it. I am DJ Zindler. I'm a producer, I'm a DJ, I'm a mom and a businesswoman. To check out my fusion journey, please visit mcdonalds.co.za forward slash spicy smoky fusion. I'm so excited. It's like having your good friend over at your house. She's here in the studio, an accomplished musician. We've got to be professional. Whose songs have touched our hearts and moved our souls. All of this is true. And it's really extraordinary, this much success and such a high level of regard and achievement for somebody who's just been in the business for five years. Award-winning musician and friend of the show, Amanda Black is back with us to talk about Nyama. Congratulations on this new project. Thank you. Oh my gosh, like it's been like, I've been saying August, August, August for so long and then this is the week and this, it's out and I'm like, okay, it's August. It's August, <laughs> it's August. Thank okay, you. Okay, so we're going to hand you some coffee. We yeah, can yeah. hang out and chat. Um, so what's it been like having this kind of success? And success, maybe you want to start with what that means to you, you know? Is it critical acclaim? Is it your commercial success? But it really, from the outside looking in, looks like you've had a meteoric rise, Ms. Black. I think for me, um, I call myself so lucky because my, my the accomplishments, yeah. the awards, they all came and I, I used to look at it as a, oh, now what? Um, in the beginning. Yeah. But then as I'm growing and making my second album, now I'm my third, it has become about more than, because now I'm not, I still need to win awards because I, I have them. Gotcha. You know? So it's more of, I'm so lucky now that I'm able to still see the bigger picture now. I'm, yeah. like, I'm just welcoming the growth and I'm looking at myself growing as a songwriter, how I'm telling my stories yeah. with this new album. It's still very much me. It's actually completely me, but it's a different side of me. Yes. It's a different facet of my songwriting, my vocal ability. Um, I'm excited. Like I'm, I just feel like I just want to grow. There's so Beautiful. much more that I can do, and I'm just excited to be doing it. And what's wonderful about taking a leap of faith and then getting affirmed, and then taking another leap of faith and getting affirmed, yeah. you have a choice where you can be boxed by mm -hmm what you've done before yeah. or you can encourage yourself <laughs> to be daring and to as you say i mean a voice a voice evolves right mm -hmm. songwriting skill evolves so mm -hmm. tell me about what it is that keeps you confident and daring Whew. when i came in um i didn't consider myself as a songwriter i was still like young and excited i feel like i'm just lucky to be here y'all right. <laughs> like thank you like what i'm here so many of my peers are not and it was just that overwhelming obviously i'm i was 23 everything was still new Baby. and now as i'm growing i'm like i affirm myself good i affirm myself i'm like look at what you've done and of course the love that i've received for pe from people who listen to actually take in my music yes. is the most honest and it really does encourage me because as much as I also isolate it and I do my music and I write it, when it comes out, it, it, it becomes so much bigger. Yeah. And as I'm growing, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I see what I'm doing. And knowing why I'm here, understanding what I'm here to do with my music and which is healing, mm -hmm. that was the first win for me. When I was making power, I was like, oh, that light bulb, that, okay, I get it. Now, even if I sway, I always know that this is exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. But I think therein lies the foundation, oh, right? Yes, you, you have purpose yeah. within this. Um, mm. I, I mean, I don't know how personal you'd like to get in this conversation, <laughs> but in terms of, of discovering or uncovering that, mm -hmm. what was that journey like? That this is your purpose to heal through your skill? It's grueling. It is it grueling, is a eh? very ugly process. Okay. Um, the self journey, listen, people who are on it, people who have been on it, probably it doesn't end. It's an yeah. ongoing process. It's really, we always talk about healing as flowers. Oh, I'm on vacation. Yes. I'm doing this. I'm taking a bath, which is very much part of obviously taking care of yourself but we don't talk about the actual 
the middle, which is what this album is about. Right. We don't talk about that darkness between the light. Yeah. And with this album, I allowed myself to go there. And that has been my own personal journey as well. And it reflects in the album that after power, I was in battle mode. And I didn't realize that, okay, after battle, there's the, you know, yes. there's the quiet after, there's the yes. ruins. Whether I lost the battle or not, there's Ooh. the ruins that oh. picking myself up, putting myself together. And I felt that during lockdown, I was able to deal with those things. Mm. Because I was sitting with myself. They were sitting right next to me. My thoughts were so loud because I couldn't distract myself anymore. And that has been now part of my own self-love journey. And it just... I'm still on it. I mean, it's extraordinary yeah. because I think that that's an aspect that we don't often talk about, right? Yeah. So we'll talk about the warrior, the warrior queen, the, you know, slayer of dragons, oh, the, yes. you know, whatever <laughs> it is. But we don't talk about that shadow element yeah. of ourselves where we have to confront ourselves. And more often yeah. than not, you're absolutely right. It comes after the battle is won, yeah. then you put down your weapons, <laughs> then you're like, ah, but there's still demons here. Exactly. And there's no enemy. I'm Why supposed to be fine. I'm supposed to be fine. Oh, <laughs> these demons are a, a part of me. And you need to release them. And and love yourself through that release. Yeah. That's really beautiful. So that's part of the concept behind Nyama. In terms of specific songs, is there one that is, um, whether it's a favorite or one yeah. that stands out or a story that you'd like to tell us lyrically about, you know, um, excavating <laughs> the song from yourself onto paper and in studio oh my goodness there's so much you know this album it's like this sure somebody uh somebody asked me but amanda in in this song you're saying rise up and you're saying this and then in this song you're like i'm sad and i'm like i'm like because that's what the gen that's what it's like yeah that, the human that's experience what that, mm, that's mm. what the human experience is that's what that process feels like it's literally the one day i'm oh okay i got it yeah it's a great bra like you <laughs> and then tomorrow i'm not too sure like i feel like i'm not even pretty anymore what's yeah. going on like it's literally a hate love hate love sure and the fight is finding that middle where you love yourself and you also accept your environment mm. and either change it or do whatever you need to do for you to be okay. Yeah. So, yeah, oh man, I'm trying to think which song. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you the story of Ekupileni. Okay, Ekupileni. Um, which is my grandmother's favorite. For me, that is the most special. Yeah. Because, yeah, my grandmother is my, you know. Yeah. So, um, for years since I've started recording, she's been saying, so when are you recording my song? Please, Galog, remember? Please record my song. Hang on, so it's her this, favorite hymn. Does this? Oh, okay, yes. right. So I remade her favorite hymn. Right. And it's featuring uh, the oh. amazing Jay something. So when I played the song, I remember I made it and I was like, oh, yes, it feels like this is the time. She lost her mind. Yeah. She's like, listen, the, the album is great, but my song. <laughs> So that has to be the most special song on the album. Uh, yeah, I love my grandma. Of course, so of course. That is so, so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. And you know, some of the early moments of being exposed to music, I know in my experience was with my grandmother in church. And there's certain hymns that I'll never forget. I'll never yes. forget like special chords or the way harmonies happen that I've, I was like, wow, <laughs> that is heavenly hosts upon this song, oh, yeah. you know? Um, and so it's beautiful that you've been able to give back to her. This album is very special to me, so I'm very grateful to everybody who honored me to be honest oh that's lovely yeah. it's always great to talk to you do you want to just like <laughs> move in and we'll just hang out all the time give me a chair in and like a bed <laughs> right around <laughs> and a mic stand and a platform oh yes please oh amanda <laughs> black so wonderful to have you here on the morning show thank you so and congratulations much. the album is called Nyama. there we go you can go get that right now wherever good music is sold streamed or downloaded <laughs> I am DJ Zinze, I'm a producer, I'm a DJ, I'm a mom and a businesswoman. To check out my fusion journey, please visit mcdonalds.co.za forward slash spicy smoky fusion. Mm.